Hi guys, so here we are on day three of our illustration series. So, so far we've done a turtle, a penguin, a Mickey Mouse, and a spaceship. Um, and so we have a few more requests coming in. So we are going to give it a shot with a sloth and uh, we'll see what else we can come up with. So stay tuned and follow along. And please like and share and make sure that you color them. I wanna see what you guys do, add to it, make it your own, and please send them to me so I can share them on our Facebook page. Thanks guys. All right, so we're gonna start with a sloth. So what we're gonna do first is we are going to start with a circle in the middle of our page or off to the side. And now right below that, we're gonna come down. And this is going to be one of his arms hanging down. So you're gonna do a line down. You're gonna curve around and come back up. Not all the way, but just a little bit. And this is going to be his other arm hanging on the tree. So oh, just at about three o'clock, you're gonna come and you're gonna curve up. There's his one arm, and you're coming down. So you're gonna come down to about the same length as where you started from. So now we're ready for the other leg. So we're gonna scoop back around, making basically a U shape. And so you're gonna scoop back and we're gonna add his leg. And then we're gonna scoop back around and this is going to be his bottom and we're gonna to attach to his body here. So we're just gonna scoop. We can add some zigzags for his fur. We can add another leg right behind. We're gonna add some claws. So they're basically just three little lines. And you can do that on the top too with both sets feet and then we're gonna have him hanging off a branch so just starting right where his feet are you're gonna do a line through and it's gonna curve up a bit and we're gonna do another line right next to it and then we can add some branches And now we'll add some leaves. So you can just come off that branch and adding as many leaves as you want. So for his face, we're gonna make it a little bit more oval than circular. So I'm just gonna erase that line. You want to press a little bit lighter. I'm pressing relatively hard so that you can see it, but... And so inside his face, we're going to start with just kind of this V right in the center. Just a small, small V. And then we're going to curve around, creating almost a little border around his face. For the eyes, he has two patches, so this is going to be darker. So they come up following a bit of a curve and curving around and then back down. And his eyes, we're just gonna have him squinting with a smirk, his nose and a smile. So we can start to fill it in. So this is going to be kind of a, um, a darker brown and then his body can be a lighter brown. So his face will remain white or a cream color. And then his body is also going to be shaded or colored. So please share your drawings, add to it whatever you wish, color them and uh, send them to me because I'd love to see them. And we'll share them all on our Facebook page. So there is sloth one. Try this other sloth. 
we're going to have him hanging from a tree branch, but a little bit different. So we're going to do the circle for his face. And we're going to add a U shape right beside it. And we're going to come up uh, right beside his face and curving back around like so. And so we're going to have a branch that comes right across like this. I'll add another hand right on the other side there. And so this sloth is going to have big, long claws. So they're going to be kind of like V shapes. And there's going to be three of those. For his head, we're going to do that kind of V shape in the center, and then we'll curve around like so. Coming very close to the bottom, and then he has those patches on his eyes. So you're going to curve in. And we're going to give him eyeballs. So we're going to do two kind of frown shapes. And we'll connect back around. And then his eyes are going to fill kind of that entire space. So we're going to leave kind of two white dots in the center. And you can color around there. And then we have to give him a nose. So you're going to do a line at the top. And it's actually just going to be an oval. And then we'll come from the bottom and make this shape. So if this is your oval, it's kind of like a backwards nine. A nine. No, a forwards nine and a, a P. So that's going to be right up in his nostril. And we'll give him a little mouth. And we're gonna shade or color this just slightly lighter. So it's going to be maybe a light gray. Um, could I would say a light gray, and then this part would be your white. And then you can come back. And color in his face. And his hands. Now he's going to have a belly. It's just going to sit right back here so it's kind of that oval shape. And his arms are going to come back and connect so it's kind of like a wide U to attach. And then this arm is going to sit right behind his body. And we got to give him some legs so we're just going to attach those. Right about here. So you're coming at the side of the body and down. And we'll add some claws to that as well. And you can fill. That in. You could also add some more tree branches. So you can maybe add a branch here, add another one up top with some little ones off. 
we could add leaves like that. Maybe there's a background, so maybe there's something happening back there. And don't forget to share your artwork with us at kindheartedstudio at gmail.com.